Hello and welcome to my favourite games of 2013. These are the games that I've enjoyed most this year. At number 5, a bit controversial maybe, Battlefield 4. Unfortunately Battlefield 4 arrived a bit late in the year and I'm pretty much discounting the first month of playing Battlefield 4 because there's just too many bugs and glitches and lag and bad netcode. The launch of this game is awful. It's been appallingly handled. EA basically passed the book to DICE and said sort it and DICE have been working hard to try and get the game sorted but there's still a list of problems with it and it made some changes that I didn't really like. I don't like the new revive mechanic. I don't like the new grenades. I think there's too many of them. So it's only making number five on my list. Number four is the Stanley Parable. Now this was a real surprise. I'd never heard of this game until I went to a friend's house and played it there. And I played it once, didn't make it through to the end. I went home, I bought it on Steam and it's great fun. Is it really a game? It's a game in the way that the old fighting fantasy books were a game you just make decisions you can move around you can look around you can roam around the world but it's more of a story than a game and it's very entertaining and very funny so number three battlefield 3 now best games of 2013 well technically yes it had endgame dlc in march and it's the game that i probably enjoyed most this year continuing to play Battlefield. To me, this is pretty much the ideal version of Battlefield. I think the revive mechanic in this version is better. I think having the limited grenades is better. I don't like the current perk system, so I think the perks in this are better. And it didn't have so many ridiculous achievements in it. So this makes it number three. Number two is The Wolf Among Us. This game is pretty much brilliant and if the game that made number one hadn't come out this would have been number one easily. It's a great story, it's a great world, it's well told, it's got kind of a murder mystery plot to it. It's so much better than The Walking Dead, it's unbelievable. Walking Dead is a good game, but this is a great game. If you've never played it, I heartily recommend it. I recommend you also don't watch playthroughs, even though I've done one. Buy it on Steam, get it in a sale. It's a really good story in a really good world. And even made me go out and read some of the Fables comics. It's not an all-out action game. There's very little interaction. You know, the fights are all clicking on the right part of the screen, pressing Q or pressing E at the right times, but it's great. So this is it, my best game of 2013. The game I had the most fun with, Metro Last Light. I thought this was just a brilliant game. There haven't been many decent single-player FPSs for a while, and this one is pretty damn great. It's got a good storyline, it's got a reason for you to be going around doing these kind of things, and it makes what you did in the last game to be wrong. So, if you haven't played Metro 2033, then I won't spoil it, but yeah, it basically says, what you did at the end of the last one, you shouldn't have done, and this is the consequences of it. So. I thought it was brilliant. It's got great shooter mechanics. It feels good, it feels crisp. It's got an interesting story. It's got characters you care about. It's got betrayal. It's got people you have to save. And it's got a little monster that helps you around at times that uh, really drives home the storyline that the game's got. So there's no pretense at a multiplayer. I think this is probably the best shooter since the first crisis. 
which was a really good. It's not open world like Crisis, it is kind of a tunnel shooter, but there are tunnels with branches and it's not all that limiting to be honest, you've got various ways of getting around things. So yeah, this is probably a combination between Thea and Stalker. So if you've ever played those, it gives you an idea of what this game's like. And if you haven't played it, I recommend you pick it up on the next Steam sale that has it on. Because it was great fun. I think it took me about 10 hours to complete. And then I discovered that I'd missed a load of stuff in it. And the storyline changes depending on what decisions you make. So that's it. Metro Last Light, my best game of 2013. So that's the best games of 2013. Now very briefly, the worst games of 2013. I know there are games that are probably even worse, but these are games that I spent my money on. Medal of Honor Warfighter. This game sucked so bad it's killed the franchise. The gun handling was awful and the two-man squad mechanic was terrible. Sim City, a game so bad it's also killed the franchise. They made it multiplayer, it had to be online, and the AI is stupid. And Sniper Ghost Warrior 2, a game that makes sniping dull. It also made zombies dull. It's an awful linear gech. So that's it, that's my best and worst for 2013. Thanks for watching.